The headlines out of Harrisburg today from the first day of the Senate's new session. It all started when Republican senators voted to remove Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman from his post presiding over the Senate. And Senate Republicans also refused to seat Democratic Senator Jim Brewster of McKeesport, who won re-election by just a handful of votes. Brewster defeated Nicole Ziccarelli by 69 votes. Political editor John Delano watched it all and has more on a day like none other. The Senate will now come to order. The day began with Lieutenant Governor Fetterman as president of the Senate. But when Republican senators tried to deny Senator Jim Brewster, certified with 69 more votes than his Republican challenger, the right to take the oath of office, Fetterman intervened. The, the chair does not find that in order. So then Republicans voted to remove Fetterman from the chair. The ayes are 14 and the nays are 11, and the lieutenant governor has been removed from the Senate for the day. It has been moved by Senate The chair will not see the restroom. The, the results of the Senate District 45 been tabled the until chair such will time not see the as the Senate has had an opportunity for further consideration the of chair the contest will not petition see the filed restroom. by a candidate. Fetterman would not budge, but President Pro Tem Jake Corman, a Republican, stepped in to chair from a different podium, while Democrats read out loud the results for Brewster. As required 66. by election law. 1,261 certified votes. When Fetterman called Brewster to take the oath, Corman refused to swear in senators with Brewster present. So ultimately, Brewster withdrew. I wanted the rest of the senators to have the opportunity with their families here, and in some cases their children here, to be sworn in. Uh, I, I was disappointed and flabbergasted that they removed the lieutenant governor. Um, that is a, a, uh, a move that I think went too far. Brewster, who says the democratic process was stained, believes he will ultimately be seated. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed uh, that it didn't happen, uh, but at some point in time, they're gonna have to do that. The election's over, we won the election, uh, we got more votes. But Nicole Ziccarelli, who was in Harrisburg, hopes Senate Republicans will ultimately seat her by disqualifying undated mail-in ballots already allowed by the Supreme Court. And I have won the election in Senate District 45 after all legally cast ballots have been counted. In a statement late Tuesday, the Senate Republican Caucus accused Fetterman of, quote, hijacking the order and decorum of the Senate and said they would act without displays of partisanship. John Delano, KDK News.